been Masha and welcome to my channel and today I'm gonna show you I'm gonna go through the the all pair world app and step by step and show you how you can apply for all pair it's the one of the easiest way to move abroad I mean I'm a I'm a caregiver professionally professionally but uh it's not so easy to get a visa but so not everyone wants to move abroad but if that's your call and you want you just want to leave everything behind for a year or two and you just want to go i don't know make some money or meet some friend or just travel around au pair is one of the easiest way you can get this uh you can get a visa and move abroad you don't have to to always do this au pair you know you just need a step you know you just need a starting point where you can get an easy visa to move from Kenya or from whatever wherever you are so you can always change to your career I'm changing but I have to go back to school first as a story for another day uh, you can change your career when you come here you can work as an au pair for a few months and talk to a family and then go to where you to go to the work that your profession that you 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 work i mean your profession so the point is how how easy can you get uh, the visa that will help you to move to this uh, country that you want so if you find my information like if you find everything i say like it applies to you please support my channel by liking and subscribing and I'm still growing my channel, but grow with me. I mean, let's have fun together. So, Opia World. Uh, I'm just gonna go through this, and and I have I still do have a profile there, um, but I'm just gonna show you how you can go, uh, you can apply and su successfully uh, get a family that suits you. You know, not every not and and times are changing. Au pair in. 10 years ago, it was the same au pair as today. I mean, like, the process are different. Well, you can use, the apps are the same. You can use most commonly, is, most common apps is au pair world and au pair.com. I have said that in my other two videos. But times are changing. Look at now, we have pandemic, so the roles are different. So I'm just gonna keep you up to date on how you can successfully find a family, even if it's during pandemic times so watch the video until to the end i hope it's not gonna it's not gonna be long but stick around and you you're gonna find your family and start your trap you start your journey to move into the country that you like so au pair world someone asked me the last time uh, what is this website you mean au pair is i have my laptop here so if you see me looking down i'm just uh going through i have the au pair world app opened so it's au pair is a u p p a i r and then world w o r l d that is one of the common apps that you can use to find a family so you don't need to download the app okay just go to the au pair world and then we have for au pairs and then we have host family for you you're an au pair so you click on uh, an au pair and then you can fill in your your details but let's go through um each one by one so that you can quickly get uh, a family you know you can search and search and not get a family that fits you but before that there's something uh, quickly i want to say au pair uh, does not apply to not everyone can be an au pair you know there, there are certain limitation. The most common one being age. Usually, uh, well, it, it can be an opia between eighteen and thirty. So you can still remember we are looking for a way to just get the easiest visa to get outside. You know, to just go to this country. And when you're there, you have kujipanga, as we say. You have to. Uh, I'm tempted to say arrange yourself. You have to you know think this is what i want and uh, when you once you hear uh, you work as an au pair because this family got uh, we invited you and gave you the document you have to give your services but you have to keep in mind what do i want to be like after being an au pair 
so I'm just gonna quickly go through the info host uh, country but when you when you download the au pair world app everything is down there so can I just pick two countries just to to tell you how this information is so I'm in Austria at the moment let me quickly click on Austria So Austria says that the requirement for you to become an au pair in Austria is that you have to be between 18 and 28 years. So are you between 18 and 28 years and you can, you already, you are eligible, you can be able to become an au pair in Austria and it's really easy. So the first thing you are between 18 and 28. And then you have a know, the basic knowledge of German and you want to improve it. Well, here for a visa application, just do the A1 and it can take up to a super intensive course. If you're a quick learner, you can just go to Goethe Institute. It's in my Mindeleo house uh, along, is it along Kimart? Not Is it King? I don't know which street in Nairobi, but just look, it's on Mindeleo house, second floor. Just go register yourself, do a quick A1 course in German pick super intensive and then you learn within three weeks and you have your uh, ANS certificate and then you're ready to apply for an au pair. So that is also a requirement when you want to go to do to have a successful uh, au pair uh, story and having a family matching with you. Then you have to be unmarried with no children and then you can pay your travel to Austria well you don't have to really you can find a very kind family which is like for me like i said i was a caregiver but my story started with uh with i was looking for jobs like i can be your uh, caregiver but it was just draining and draining but you have to be smart okay i just go here work as an au pair and then later you you join you go into your profession so they say you you have to pay your travel to austria where you can talk to your family you know please say just write me a letter like i did uh please write me a letter that that says uh you're gonna pay my flight and when i come and i'm working in the first month you can deduct that from my salary or you can deduct it you know monthly you don't have to that so that you're not left without anything so they can deduct monthly after monthly so and then you can pay your travel that can something you can discuss with your host family so if you don't have any money don't worry and that's why au pair is one of the easiest way to move abroad so you would like to work as an au pair in austria at least for six months of course the reason why you're applying is because you want to be and then in the last five years you have not worked for more than one year as an au pair in austria you have not this does not even apply of course if you're in kenya or whatever you are you have not been to austria and that's it i mean this is the only list that you this is the only requirement that you need to be to get to be an au pair in austria let's pick another country for instance um germany everyone wants to go to germany maybe we can check uh on italy oh no wait a minute this is the USA, um, Italy, Italy is really beautiful. Here are the requirements. So, wow, you're between 18 and 30. It's really nice, you know. If you're in between the age of 18 and 30, you can be an au pair or it can be your entry point to another country. So it doesn't have to be like i said remember we are looking for an entry point so italy is good between 18 and 30. i actually one time thought about it uh, when i was finishing my au pair year in ungan but anyway that's a story for another time you're not italian national of course you're not uh you have basic knowledge of italian <laughs> well i don't know they just write it here but my advice to you well you you don't have to do a1 in italian but you can do it and i'm not even sure where there's a school offering italian in nairobi uh, but you can apply for a study visa uh, and you can ask your family if you want to be an au pair in italy ask the family and uh, they will enroll you to 
a school a1 and then they can send you the certificate and they can take this to the embassy to show that you're gonna be learning a1 when you arrive in italy that's a quick hack then you're unmarried and have no children and you can afford to travel to italy i said you don't have to afford it just talk to your family host and let them know they ask them to pay for your flight and they can deduct it for you from your salary little by little as you work and then you would like to go to Italy, live with the host one, blah, blah, yeah, of course you want to go and be there, okay. And that's the, all, that's the requirement. And it goes on and on. We have all, all, all information about each country. So, Opia World, just click on the app, go down there and click on Info Host Country. Pick one by one. If you're older, mostly, most Opia is like 18 to 28 or 27. But if you're older than that and up to that and you still want a quick way to get uh, to get a visa and move out of and go abroad, just go one by one. We have America, we have Australia, we have Austria, Belgium, Canada, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Iceland, everything, any country that you want. Click and then check the information. And then when you say, okay, who? I like Japan, I like Austria, and this is where I fit, and this is where I want to be. If you have your country, now you can go up and click on four OPIAs, and then you have to register. So I have my profile, I'm just gonna click on my profile. So when you're registering, you need to remember there's so many families out there looking for au pairs and as much as there's so many families there's so many au pairs looking for families so you have to be smart in how you do your your bio you know the first one is like where you have to you have to write something a letter or just a, a small message to the family and it has to start with dear host family so i'm just gonna read mine and then you can you can just gather what you have to write don't read don't write a lot of things just just make sure you're getting the family uh attention you know they want to like okay i want this one to be my au pair so so dear host family where you're supposed to write fa something i wrote uh dear host family i am irene and i'm and my friends call me marcia I'm a happy girl who loves spending time in the nature. When I'm not working, I'm hard working. I take good care of myself. I love I love working with kids and it's been there uh and been there as their older sister. We play together, sing and learn English during the fun times. I look forward to being a part of your family. So what is captivating? Europe, most people are not speaking English. So when they are hiring an au pair, they want someone who can speak English to their kid. But in Kenya, we speak English, I think. We are all good. So you can tell them it's one of their mother tongue. This is when they when you're having an interview with them. Tell them it's one. You learned English in school, even if you don't. Talk, I mean, we talk Swahili and Kikui with my brothers and my mother. But you learned english in school and you're eloquent and you can speak so just tell them it's one of their mother tongue after all we have like 43 different tribes in kenya english could be one so they want someone who can speak english to their kids and so that they can learn because in europe most people are not speaking english so that's a win-win for you because you can speak english and they want you okay then they ask for, the second point is what you write, my personality. I just wrote something very easy. I'm a kind and positive girl, full stop, you know. Then this fat person would just think, okay, she's a kind girl and a positive girl. That's all I'm looking for. I want someone who is kind, someone who is taking care of my kids, like they are their kids. And that's it. I just left it at it. Don't, don't elaborate more. Don't give false information because when they accept you and you're you're not the same as you wrote in your bio it's gonna have problems yeah just be yourself and just uh i noticed like in kenya people lie in their cv and we have this little lies like just to boost up people here are so honest i'm like gosh can you just lie a little bit uh people People talk about everything so openly. People tell each other everything. Sometimes I feel it's too much, but 
these are some culture shocks that I got when I arrived here. Just be yourself, you know, they want to know the real you. After all, you'll be living with them as a member of the family. Then we have my family and friends. From, from here, I wrote, uh, I have three brothers and no sister. My mom is self-employed and she spends time in the farm. We are a small, happy family. Don't tell them so much. You know, after all, it's so many people seeing this information. When they accept you, you can go and tell them about everything else. Then we have my education. From here, uh, you have to write, um, just write everything. Even if you're a nurse or something, even if you're just using au pair as a bridge to go into your career after, just write it, you know, but let them know that you're willing to stay them for at least for a year. So for me, I write, I'm a trained geriatric nurse and that's my ultimate passion. Later in life, I would love to work in the elderly, with the elderly in, the, in our society or have uh, my own nursing home. Other than that, I graduated with a diploma in business education in 2015. Remember, they're just asking about, <coughs> excuse me. They're just asking about your education. Just write what you graduated in. Just be honest and write this. And they can see, wow, okay, this is a bright girl. We just want to have her in our home. We just want her to be all around our family. Then the next one is they ask you, what do you do in your free time? Uh, be honest. If, you, if, you're really, if you're a lazy bum, you just watch TV and you just like, I don't know, documentary and stuff. Please be yourself, you know. If you say, Leah, I like watching TV and I like watching documentary, who knows? They can say, okay, this girl is a TV girl. We're going to put a TV in her room. So be honest. So for me, I wrote, I um, I love hiking, hiking so much. I do. Uh, listening to music, reading, and sometimes learning how to cook. I still believe I'm a real cook. I still believe I can cook so well. I'm Jerry. Anyway, <laughs> then the next one is my experience with kids. So here you don't have to be have been employed and working with kids. You know that older sister of yours who has two kids and one time they went and left you alone and you survived a whole day with the two kids? That's your experience, okay? You don't need to have worked with kids or in a kindergarten or anything, no. If you were, had experience with kids where you were like, the older person and you are taking care of the kids and making sure that her, they are alive uh, the whole day, that's your experience. Just tell them my story, okay? Um, my aunt has two kids and sometimes when she's going traveling, I'm left with the kids, we play and have fun. That is your experience. My language, my, uh, my language skills. Remember, the key is being honest. As for me, I speak a lot of languages. So for me, for under my languages I have written, I speak four languages, three of them I'm fluent, that is English, Swahili, and Kikuyu, and German. Uh, I speak a little bit of French, and I'm currently learning level B1, B2 actually, of German. I know some basic Hungarian, but not good enough. Well, Hungarian is not your everyday language, but well, I learned it. So just, if you can just speak, we are so fortunate in Kenya that we speak a lot of, I mean, three languages, English, Swahili, and your mother tongue. Like I said, we have 43 different tribes in Kenya. So write this Kikuyu, it's for, it's so important. It creates interest in you. Wow, who is this girl who can speak three languages? You know, just write it as much as not everyone who can speak Kikuyu. Then my motivation Here's what I wrote. I have always enjoyed all my au pair experiences. If you don't have, just write something that motivates you. I have met great families which became friends to me after my stay with them. If, it, if this is not your motivation, just find, be honest, just say something that motivates you. Then my expectation. Oh, this is the point, yeah? My expectation, please, this is where they give you a platform of what you expect. You know, if you want, if you feel like the, the family had written, oh, I'm giving you 400 euros. And then they said, yeah, you're required to do extra duties. And you feel this is too much for you. And you need like at least 450 or 500 euros. 
this is your platform to say or if you feel uh, okay i don't feel like doing extra duties but i feel i like your kids and this is after the interviews you know uh, i like your kids i want to play with them this is your platform to say your expectation or if you say i expect you to pay for my classes i expect you to drive me around uh when when i need to go somewhere this is your platform to say and say it don't be afraid okay for me i just wrote i'm a kind girl and i expect my host family to be kind to me as well this is very important as much as you you're taking care of their babies they leave you alone with them you know you're kind to them you play with them so they have to be respectable of you know recording and i hope i have the other video because it was so long where was i i was just explaining about expectation so this is what i wrote oh i don't know where i stopped I'm a kind girl and expect my host family to be kind to me as well. Good communication and to have great working environment. I hope my host family can introduce me to their culture and I hope to have free time to visit places in my host family country. Uh, remember when you go to this fam uh, this host family, they become your family and most likely they're the only people you know abroad. So they should be at least the first the first few months uh they should uh, help you to go around how to take trains how to buy a ticket how to connect you know with the buses and everything they should go with adventures with you just to you know to make you feel comfortable and and uh being feel like welcomed to their culture so this this is where you write you have a platform to write your expectation so the other thing i wanted to say opia mostly salaries go from uh, 200 as i recently saw a family that was offering 80 euros please come on please 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 no don't take that you know you're in a foreign country and you need this money so it, for me i think anything from 300 to 600 or 800 if you accept to do uh, something on the side you know like uh, put the dishes in the dishwasher or fold the laundry and or iron and stuff like this but you can choose you can just choose to be an au pair where you are fully uh, caring for the kids so 300 500 to 600 so you can also tell them mostly the host families say i'm paying this and this so that's why you have the chance to choose this family this family is giving me 400 this family is giving me 300 euros so when you connect with the family and they are giving you 300 it's okay here when you're talking to them it's really okay to tell them okay i really need 350 or i really need uh for 500 you know for so and so maybe you're the breadwinners at your family and so it's okay to tell them these people are really understanding so when you're doing the interview also it's another platform for you to say your needs and ask a lot of questions ask the weather about this country what do i need and also the very important thing is about the visa application tell them you need them 100% you need them to send you the original document you need them to be there to talk with the counselor as for me I found a really nice family they actually they are the ones who I didn't know when my visa came out I was just sitting and talking stories with my mother and this guy called me I mean my fa my host family called me was like Marsha go to the embassy and collect your visa and then there's a a, a, a plane ticket for you like uh, you can fly on friday i was like wow i was not even there you know find such kind of make sure there is a connection because your well-being matters at the end of the day so i hope you were able now to use opia world and be able to connect with the right family it's pandemic time but they say well actually like uh, the german embassy they say like they're not accepting their voluntary visas and their au pair visas but a friend of mine told me once he was going to apply for a job seeker visa but she told me like there were other two girls and they were applying for au pair my friend just book this appointment if it's available just go there's something called luck well i have no control of that but 
it could be your luck you know apply for this um book the appointment and just go if they say no they say no if they say yes they say yes and you have nothing to lose you know you're just trying so commitment and just do it and then you will find your way so i really really do wish you uh, the very best as you start your au pair or as a stepping point to your career and thank you very much for watching